Hello there everyone on YouTube, welcome to another episode here on uh, Total War uh, Warhammer. Um, it's been a long episode actually, so I'm afraid I might just record this one and make it like 40 minutes long or something like that. So basically we did defeat it, Manfred from Karstein's army. Oh, he was buffing the leadership there. Should have seen that. Plus his other stuff, you know. Makes crown of command, of course. You know, it does help him out. Uh, but I was always saying here and discussing things here on the chat. Basically, we got our buddy. Well, he's not really doing well. The Empire. Oh, he actually has March enabled. Oh, that was bad. Um. So basically, I'm feeling like I, I have enough men to kill these guys, but then I will have nothing. So I have to turn back with this guy now? and use him to replenish troops. You know, I'll have to destroy any rebellion that is going on over here on Marienburg, so it's not going to be easy. But let's go for it, guys. At least we're not at war here on the, on the, on the bottom. Right, there's the full army. There's two armies right there, and that's the third one. I'll have to retreat here. Get away, dude! Get away as fast as you can! Right, so those are two armies, and... Well, that's a fourth army. Whoa! That's a fourth army. He's taking casualties there, because of the presence. Follower gain, tax rate! Oh, I don't know where, but that's cool. So I gotta check out what the, does he have. How many units will he have? He's only taking three. And four losses. This guy has some good units. Kanstein could be killed. But this is gonna be difficult. What? I certainly needed better troops, but it's not something that I can do right now. Moving off. We march. Actually, this will bolster the nation. You can go through. That is it. And I cannot recruit any more units. I think I would need to recruit better units right away. So I'll have to recruit the lord over here. Yeah, there's no way. That one can still hang on for a little while. Still getting some some issues with the public order. That's due to the difficulty level, of course. Yeah, I think I need that. So let's recruit a lord here. Still can't get Balthazar Geld, though. But I can get this guy, which is is not really that good, though. Now this guy doesn't isn't really that good as well, but th this guy doesn't cost anything. So I know that I'm, my upkeep is suddenly going to increase. To the provinces. Uh, skill points. What do you have? I have nothing. Let's just put him on root marcher then. What does the and they have weak units, and their towers will kill a lot. Yep, yeah, I'm counting on that. I'm actually going to leave this guy here, I guess. For um, for him to split up because those are four armies. No. He has too much. There's too many troops here. I guess I can actually assault some units. I can assault you his Manfred. A daunting prospect. Failure. I should have joined the wizard there, but still, yes, you know. My lord. He's gonna get some character details. Uh, I think the inspiring presence is necessary here. Should have had that one first. By the if I could have a fight against only these guys, that would be nice. So if I leave him there, I might lure them. Summon the elector counts. Yeah, if I leave him here, I might lure those. You know, try to get Averheim at the same time. Oh, I can't. I can't. Dude, there's yes. no way. I have to deal with these armies before. If I try to go for Averheim, it's going to be difficult. I will what I want here is to keep recruiting some good units. So that'll be... So. I can actually recruit five units there? Wow. Do I have anything that can provide me money, suddenly? 
I don't know. Ready. Did I spend money on anything? On any building or whatever? I kinda. Praise Sigma. It's improving with these guys. Let me see if they wanna try and go on. Looking at you, Mr. Update. They rejected. <laughs> there was no point not trying that, you know. It's deteriorating, but they're liking the actions against the vampires. The Empire only crossed the Grey Mountains when they need something from They won't me. go for that. What is it? Well, that's fine. Diplomacy is getting crapped, guys. Diplomacy is difficult here. Well, at least everyone likes that I'm at war against the Vampire Counts, so that's cool. So I can't get any more money, but I am recruiting three units, so let me see if I can recruit five units or something like that. Um, can recruit four if I go to two Outriders, but I think I'd rather have the infantry stuff. Yeah, I'd rather have these three infantry units. You are untrustworthy. I know. I know. I've been so. being very naughty. Been very naughty. Everything here correct? Yep. Everything is right. At least the vampiric corruption, even with all of these units, is staying like this. Now he might send everything there. Might send everything there. If he does, then I'm gonna have a lot of troubles there. But well. There's no way that I can survive on that one. I need to get to catch some of their armies um, off their strength. And for that I have to count that they will siege, but that they will also move away. Well, they're taking their uh, losses there. It takes 11 turns there. Peace negotiated and the construction will complete, so that I do have the money that I wanted. So? Never. I could just attack it him, but I know that his do other armies are going to move in. Now he does have the Vargeists and some Graveguards here. Never. But the other it's army is composed mostly of very weak units. Is Birdie on March still? I think so. Of course. Can't recruit any units there, but I sure what can here. That's what I want. If I can have those, it's fine actually. Marienburg can survive for quite a, w a while if it has some garrison issues. I will the men. And this guy is actually going over there to help out. Onwards. There we go. Sigma. No. Ooh. That's some Empire Rebels there. So should I move my army nearby and see if he will strike me? I mean, I have to. kind of have to. There's, there's no other way. How about if I try an ambush? I cannot. Oh, he's on March! Sealy! We're still on March when I issued this order. Which means he can be attacked. Well, I gotta attract them outside of that. There's no other way. Wars have been declared. Where? Wissenland? Baston? Right, they're fighting each other. That's fine. What Thinking on my battle wizard. Let me check here. No. He's recovering units. That's fine. This guy is dying. I don't know what they are doing. I wish they would attack there. But well, they might just attack their own Wootbat, which is going to be bad for me. But I will get three units of greatswords that I can join in with Emperor Carl Franz. Let's see what happens here. Come on, vampires, come for me. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. At least they moved away, you know? So I am going to retreat there. Pretty sure that he can't attack. Now he can move, but that's only one army, and he's coming in with the other one. So he's split. If he's split, might be able to deal the damage that I want there. 
Mathelborg, there's a lot of rebellions here, so my initial army is going to have to do that. So who is here? It's Heinrich Kemmler. Insolence. And he's not actually having the the assistance. Yes. To unite the he forces. is having the assistance. The nation calls. So that's a difficult decision. I Should I leave these guys going in? No, that was a good work actually. This is my best chance right now. So I can move these guys here. Yes, my lord. Can actually move this guy there as well. You know, to have some units. But oh well. Praise Sigma. Absolutely not. What does the Emperor bid? So let's just move here. He does increase a lot on public order. This one is gonna attack Nuln, so I'm, I'm gonna have to deal with a lot of these uh, vampire armies and deal with all of those. Now, should I attack? I only have. Please notice that I only have swordsmen on this army. It's not like I have albadiers to deal with their direwolves and vargeists. Um, he doesn't have a lot of good troops there. Only zombies, though. And my. You could crush both of the legendary lords of his. Yes, but not on this battle. If I take here, I would have to try and attack this, which I can't. Because if I attack here, he won't be able to reinforce. But this guy is going to be able to reinforce, you know? So that's a bit of an issue that I have. Do I have lightning strike already? <laughs> I don't, for one. That will stop. Well, I can kill them. I could try. You know, I the can certainly move this guy coming. in. Can he move in Force March forward there? Yeah. Yes, a sound plan. Then I think I'll be able to do this. What do you guys think? What do you think, Bart? If I move this guy here, I'll have the necessary strength, I guess. Let's go for it. I don't think I'll have another shot at this, actually. So let's just do this. Hopefully the reinforcements won't be bad. Oh! Interesting developments there. Pick up the pace. I command here. So now is actually time to go against Manfred. Go for the rebels then. Not yet. I'm gonna leave the rebels doing some damage. There, that's gonna happen. There's no way, other way. But if I destroy these armies here from the vampires, may be able to go against this other army there, and then I'll clean up everything. Still no full arms, quite true. But this time we can attack. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to be able to attack this other army from Heinrich Clem with everyone joining in, right? Hopefully. Attack! Is Car Friends joining in? Our friends is joining in, as well as my garrison army. So this one should be an easy battle. Uh, I have barely enough strength to survive uh, if he attacks me. So let's see that. Let's fight this one out. Hopefully this um, this one will completely die. That's exactly what I want. And if I kill both of these legendary lords then things are a little bit better for me. My birdie, do notice that he's completely weak. And my reinforcements are coming in from the best side. Finally! Finally, stuff like this happens. So, it worked out, you know, all, the, all that deployment. Birdie is gonna get really bad. Don't have Birdie fight. You touch him and he dies. Quite. Quite. He's he's quite a... Um, quite a low... low dude. There you go. So let's start the battle. It's so good. So good that my reinforcements are coming in from this side. There comes Carl Franz. He has arrived to deal with Heinrich. And do notice that I'll have some... Uh, Depleted units here. I'm not gonna get the um, the artillery, I believe, but it's mostly infantry which I can use um, on the front. Swordman, 
I'm trying to get to get a glimpse of th these guys should be on the garrison so they are actually going to be oh and he's on force march there look at that he's already tired so the only thing that they have again uh, with them it's cool Basically, could go vanguard they buy you the time you need to get your troops from behind whatever oh you need you mean like flanking hmm actually do that. Right. Well, I have so many pistols and crossbowmen. I mean, look at this. That's the line of my crossbows. That's the line of crossbowmen that I have. So let's make, sh let's make this kind of like by the book. Take the ground! Uh, group 3 and group, group 4 and group, group 5, group and group. There we go. So my weakest is in the middle. My strongest in the flanks. Birdie is really behind. <laughs> There's nothing he can do. I wish I had my mortars because he has none. So um, let me see their forces there. There's the, the uh, uh, those guys that I really don't like. What are they called? The Fargeists? So my cavalry is gonna go from those. Rakes God Knights! And Carl friends, he's just gonna keep up here in the middle. Birdie is gonna go like a little bit on the back. He's helping, he's helping. But mostly I want my missile troops to do the damage here. I don't know if enveloping would be a better idea, or making a convex um, would be a better idea. So, if you want to know how to make a proper convex, it's something like this. Just do like this. It's the best option, so that you can still have your uh, missile units like, like you wanted them. Swordsman, you're gonna be like here. There we go. Four rakes god. Jesus. <laughs> Hopefully the Varheist won't attack him. Yeah. That's the only the only guy that I want to... I don't know if I should even let him stay behind, you know? Because I don't want him to die, that's for sure. These guys, pretty sure they can deal with the Felbats and the die wolves. I'm just worried about the magical stuff, you know? Oh well. Everyone is positioned, so let's just move. Now, I'm not going to move totally against him. What I want is to then move sideways. I want to take on this area. Yeah, put him in that little forest. Well, I can move him certainly like here. At least that will hide him a little bit. I could put him... Oh, you mean this small one, right? Behind your line, no one will see him. Well... I still want him to be there, at least for the bonus of the uh, leadership. And I think I can control things well, well he won't die. Hopefully. He does have a horseman. He does have a horse, dude. That's cool. Right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna realign my troops. Group 5 is over there and it's gonna stay over there for the flanking. Uh, yes, okay, I, be I believe I, I actually did what you, what you were saying. That's cool. The reason for doing this is that you can see he's adjusting, and that will maybe allow us to have a better even ground there. You know, the optimal situation would be that I would be attacking here. You know, but still, if he tries to come in, then my um, I don't like the mounts in general. I think they attack slower. Although the horses in armor give them more armor. Th that's true. That's true. Um, 
what I really want is my crosswoman to do the, the bidding here. I'm glad I said the episode would be shorter because that's actually what's going to happen. Dire wolves and another unit of dire wolves. Okay, I moved my Reichsguard too fast. Let's just move them back. I have so many missile units that are all that I have to do is wait for them to unleash their their power. He's sending some. Yeah, he's trying to flank, but there's no way he can flank this army. He can flank. But he'll also lose a lot. Right. So group two, you're gonna move a little bit closer. Group one, you're gonna move like here. Moving now! Actually something like this. I'd rather see them more more grouped up. Yes, sir, quickly, ready! we go. Rather see them join in. Some has golden... Although, uh, some has golden chevrons. That is real experience. On me! Yeah. It's the missile infantry. They do so, ma so much damage. Usually with me, I don't know, I must use missile troops effectively because they actually do a lot of good stuff. Right, if he would be cool, he would attack right now because the... the the issue here is that this line may crumble fast, but I'm kind of expecting that. Kind of expecting that, because I can put these guys on hold the line, you know, in a rally. And in the meantime, my crosswoman can reach them. Right, so time for yet another movement. You know, the whole issue that I'm doing here, guys... It's just making sure that my crosswoman can be in the best position to to attack. Most of the armies I see are lacking missile troops, but not yours. Well, against these guys, I guess it's actually good, because they're very weak units, so they will suffer a lot. If I was going against uh, with crosswoman, I would never go with crosswoman with so many crosswomen against armies like um, Chaos or Dwarves because they have so much armor they will just ignore my missiles. They'll just he hear my missiles coming in and say what's that noise? Right, I kinda have to move them fast. There we go, these guys I don't have to move them too fast. You can see that I'm joining in my troops just to make sure that they don't uh, die there. The Reichsguard can move here. Yeah, I want to. I want to actually stop recruiting crossbowmen and going for handgunners mostly. Uh, but that will be only after I wreck the vampire lords. You know, for now I think the vampire lords are good. One other thing that I can do is just send in one unit of crossbowmen like here, to draw them out. This is actually a very weak unit, so I think that might cause them to draw, to attack. As you can see here, I almost climbed up the mountain, um, and I don't want to climb it. I want to actually move this part away. You know, I want to move these guys back instead of in, with these guys covering. You know, that's the idea. So hopefully that will work. That's why these guys are doing that. Alright, let's see if I can draw them in. Is there any good targets here? Only zombies? Zombies? Well, go for zombie target. Don't care. They might lose their leadership if, if that happens. There we go. Is he taking the bait? I think he is. He doesn't like that idea. Yeah, he's taking the bait. Alright, let's move then. Now, I'm pretty sure that these guys are not going to do too much. Let's send them in. I know that I can move them away, guys, but I just don't know if that will be the best option. Oh, hang on a second. I should have. <laughs> I should have. 
misunderstood there. Oh well, there's still the Vi guys there. Those guys are going to be fine. Right? Yeah, I did lose those two units. Well, these guys are critical dying. That's fine. It's good. So everything here seems to be crumbling. That's the charge that I want to do. Let's go for the Vargas there. Let's go over there. I think this charge is going to be fine. How about you? Do you think it's going to be fine? Here we go. What died here? Unit of pistoliers is dying. Oh, guess okay. skeleton streamer. Don't let them hit you. That's it. Hey, car friends, hit those. Right. Let's move over these guys. What is going on over there? I'm losing against these direwolves. I thought they would be weakened against that. Where is my cavalry? Hi, cavalry. Get away, cavalry. I don't need you anymore. You're winning this easily. Uh, oh, he's crumbling, 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 crumbling. And that's crumbling as well. Still survive with some units, that's nice. Okay, I think Amrish Claimler is dying. There we go. And there we go. I thought the the like like to how to say the pistoliers actually were baited there because they started hitting the vampire bats and that was cool and then there were two units of, of uh, direwolves not just one so at least the full army is dead and I get to execute the captives and get some stuff back it's still a good aspect here now this guy is going to go over towards my left yes, pretty sure this guy is going to take Manfred and kill him it is war. Right, do you want to see this one? I think I'll actually show it to you. Because what do I have? I have three army units of infantry. I can deal with these. It's just the missile troops. So yeah, let's fight it out. Actually going to move in my vanguard uh, and pistol he is, because he has nothing to deal with them. He has a couple of units. No unit has been wiped out yet. That's good news. I didn't lose any units as well. That's cool. So, well, I will lose a couple of them as soon as I merge, but I'll have some great swords there as well, which is cool. Now, let's see what I can do with Vanguard units here. I kind of think, like, this time I can send my crossbow units at the front with the units behind, and this guy really behind, covered by the Rake's Guard. Just gonna move them a little bit forward and let's control these guys. See what I can do. If I can destroy the vampires and you know the units that are that are fighting, or that are faster, then I'm fine. Like zombies are no threat to these guys. Right, not sure, but the die wolves are nearby, so I'm gonna have to be careful here. we go, Tonar Resolve. Birdie will die probably. Oh! That is a good reason as well. Now, are they in range? They are not. Those are zombies? I didn't want to fire zombies. There are some dire wolves there. I can send my rakes guard against them. Let's hit Manfred there, shall we? Yeah, the cavalry just wrecked those. And they're gonna wreck the 
some vampire bats there. Oops! Yes, General. Get away from there. Shoot them. There we go. The crossbowmen should do everything. Right. I shouldn't take too many losses there. Sigma, I don't know what he's doing here. Spirit leeching. Is this Manfred? Yes, he is. Well, as soon as these guys start routing. That one is crumbling. There's from Cars time. Come on. You don't fear that, do you? Hello, King of Pergamon. How are you doing, mate? Okay, Outriders, stop your fire in that. You stop your fire as well. That's nice. I know he's spirit leeching and he's gonna cause some damage, but still, he's gonna die. That is useless against multiple people. I noticed that. Weak versus multiple combatants. But I guess that's the only thing that he can do. Let me show you just some crumbling of those units. You can see them crumbling. There we go. Where's Van Manstein? Hi, dude. We watch him get killed. Hi, Bart, and I'm good, Susan. How are you doing, man? What what brought you up for for, for this one today? What where actually do you live, uh, King of Pergamon, if I may ask? Because I always think like I'm actually having good views on in the morning, <laughs> which is strange. Right, Reconnates me. Oh, I got a talisman, which is a Dragon Bane gem. Right, execute the captives. Fire resistance, thirty percent. That's nice. Now, right. So, bring me to my men. He can enter. He can't enter. So? Right. So let's go for Woodbot. Well, let's actually merge units. I lost one unit so, there, and this one I didn't lose at all. I so this guy is going to do some trouble, but there's also some armies Sigma wandering around here, I such as the rebels. He's the king of Pergamon. He lives in Pergamon. Pergamon is where I am. <laughs> well, I don't know. Pergamon, you know, it's it's one common place, you know, let's say. So I wouldn't know if you were actually... On that. Hey, can I assassinate someone? No, I can't. How about assault someone? Like the Grave God. Let's see if I can do that. Failure! Man, he's not good at that. Right, but the Vampire Counts actually lost a lot of stuff. And I can assign a skill point here. I wanted the. the Fervent, but I also like the other stuff. Oh! He's gonna get let lightning strike. We're neighbors, one man, but I feel that we were talking about it once. I'm from Hungary. Oh! Yeah, you, well, Ready. at least. Kind of neighbors. You know, it's still a different country, but still. Right, I don't know if I have better stuff here. Oh, I certainly have the text rate. But I don't want the text rate for for Birdie, because he's going to be more like a charger here. I'm going to give him the hold the line ability. He already has some yes. uh, changes there. What would it allow me to do with this? Well, not too much. The Empire. What? Oh, I can certainly get Birdie with the units. Let's the give Birdie the units. This will there we the go! Three units of uh, great swords. And this to guy can't muster. No, he can't because he's on forced march. Absolutely not. I think I'll be able yes. to move into Marienburg and then have someone else join in over there. So, 
for the next couple of battles, what I need is to kill these guys. He's losing some. Not losing too many, though. Just one or the other. So I'm gonna have to use both of these armies against those. And get this guy over to recruitment. Should be this guy, he has the bonuses. But I'm gonna have to defend against Merrimburg, which is rather silly there. But oh well. Let me see the hours. Kinda... well I kinda have to go. Which is kind of a silly thing, but I do have to go. Um, guys, tomorrow there's going to be more of this at the same hour. I'm going to try and record a little bit earlier. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this one. It was a very interesting battle. There were very interesting battles here against the Vampire Count. He's suffering a lot. I guess this guy is going to kill Fidolf. That would be nice. And I think right now I should concentrate on getting better troops. I have the income, I have the money for it. This guy is going to go over there to Grunborg. He's going to get some interesting stuff going. And from Wurtwart, I think I'm going to charge on Averheim um, with the Emperor. That will depend on these movements. So if these guys move into, then I'll defend it. I'll leave Averheim, I'll leave Wurtwart. You know, and just recapture everything here while getting a better troop. Uh, uh, composition. Because I want great swords, I want some crossbows, some other stuff, and the Empire Captain. I do need the Empire Captain. How can I recruit him? There we go. Now, this is a magnanimous, this is a sneaky, this is choleric. I kind of like this guy. At least he's going to be, you know, on the, on the province, he's going to be, he's going to provide me some money. And it's not like the other ones are really that cool. I'm not gonna go for 2% upkeep for all units for just the attack, you know? So yeah, that's cool. Let's recruit that captain. Yes. And we'll be sure to give him out to Birdie. Thanks for the for the tip there, Bart. Uh, so thank you guys for watching on, on YouTube. And thank you guys for watching here on Twitch. Thank you for following me here. And I appreciate you guys joining up. And we'll see each other on the next uh, streaming session, which is tomorrow at the same hour. Also, just to let you know, on Saturday it's the whole day. I'm going to be right there. So, yeah, guys. Cheers and bye-bye.